Good morning, guys. How are you doing? I'm great. Okay. So, let's see the quantifiers. Quantifiers. Oh, interesting question. What is quantifiers? What are quantifiers? Quantifiers, quantity. So, when you use quantifiers, you use some words that knows about quantity of something. Okay. So, example. Here we have just one, right? One tp. Okay. So we will see other expressions, okay, to understand a uncertain, an uncertain quantity. Então a gente vai ver aqui, né, alguns, algumas palavrinhas, algumas expressões que trazem uma certa noção, né, da quantidade, não uma noção exata, mas da intensidade, certo? De muito, pouco ou até tudo ou na verdade alguns, ok? So let's go, ok? So, but attention, before we talk about quantifiers, it's very important, it's very providential, ok? Essential to talk about countable and uncountable nouns, or you may say non-countable nouns, ok? According to your book, ok? According to your book, they use the term non-countable. No problem, that's ok, right? Countable. Countable nouns, ok? These are nouns that have two forms, singular and plural, ok? Pay attention to the examples. Classes, right? Plural. Class, classes. Telephone, telephones. Baby, Babies, ok? Uncountable nouns that use only one form, ok? Bread, bread, sugar, sugar, water, water, just that, because you can't count, ok? You can't count, right? Ok? Attention! We will identify countable as C and uncountable U, ok? Então a gente vai identificar eles de acordo com alguns slides, como C e U, ok? Countable, C, uncountable, U. Então, contável tem essa questão das duas formas, singular plural, e incontável eu tenho essa única forma para o substantivo, ok? Bread é o pão. Olha que interessante, né? O pão a gente, a gente utiliza plural, né? Mas na língua inglesa não tem esse termo, não se utiliza esse termo numa um termo plural somente relacionado a pão, no caso bread, bread, ok? Vocês vão ver assim daqui a alguns anos é a utilização de unidades voltadas a essa massa, tá certo? Unidades voltadas a, a algo, por exemplo, no caso do pão, bread, a gente tem slice, vocês vão perceber o slice, que é uma fatia de pão. One slice of bread, two slices of bread. Aí sim eu tenho uma forma pluralizada. Mas enquanto isso, vamos ficar, por enquanto, conhecendo um pouco dos quantifiers. Ok? Great. So, countable, as I told you, C. Uncountable, as I told you, U. Ok? Here there are the quantifiers according to the countable and uncountable. Ok? Right? So, attention, guys. On the page, okay, on the page of your book, you will see some of these quantifiers, okay, right? So, on page 82, okay? So, going on page 82, there are some quantifiers, okay? There are some quantifiers, and... These quantifiers is according to the nouns, ok? Então, esse emprego dos quantifiers, eles vão ser utilizados de acordo com o substantivo que vem a seguir, certo? Se o substantivo que vem a seguir, ele for contável, eu vou poder utilizar essas formas, ok? How many, many, few or a few, ok? How many, in this situation, this is used for questions, ok? This is for questions. So, how many days you, uh, how many days were you sick? How many days you were sick? Então, quantos dias você 
estava doente. Quem você ficou doente? Então aí ele vai utilizar o quantos, o quantas, ok? Countable. Ele vai utilizar para countable. Nesse caso, days, né? How many days? Days countable noun. So we use how many. How much? Quanto? Quanto de água? How much water? How much water do you drink? Ok? How much water do you drink? How much? How much coffee do you drink? Or a delicious food. How much food do you eat? In my case, I eat a lot. <laughs> so I love eating. Ok? Great. Nice. Countable and uncountable. Many and much. Many. Ok? When you have a great quantity, a good quantity of things. So, example. Uh, here in the world, there are many people, many animals, right? Many animals, many people, okay? And uncountable much, okay? So, uh, there is much traffic. Então, há muito trânsito. There is much traffic in Fortaleza, okay? There was, né? Havia muito trânsito em Fortaleza, okay? There was much traffic in Fortaleza, okay? A few, or a few, ok? Pouco, relacionado a uma pouca quantidade, tá certo? De alguma coisa. So, example, uh, here, ok? In the studio, there are few people. Então, há poucas pessoas aqui no estúdio, ok? There are few people here, ok? Few. Or a few, ok? You use for countable, because people, people is countable, ok? There are few a little you use for uncountable, ok? Vocês percebem que nessa tabela ela ajuda muito para poder identificar quais as, as quantifiers que eu vou poder utilizar caso o substantivo a seguir seja countable ou caso o substantivo a seguir seja uncountable, ok? Great? Attention! Here in this case, this quantifier, ok? Are a lot of or lots of are used for countable and uncountable nouns simultaneously. Então, nesse caso aqui, ele traz tanto para o uso de nomes né, contáveis como para nomes incontáveis, substantivos incontáveis. Ok? So, attention, ok? It's important to know this part, ok? Countable and, count, okay? Countable and uncountable. Ah, mas por que, que eu estou vendo isso? Eu quero ver os quantifiers somente. Na verdade, para poder, recapitulando, para poder eu ter essa utilização dos quantifiers, né? as, as, os termos quantificadores, eu preciso saber quem é que vem a seguir, qual é a palavra que vem a seguir. Ok? Let's see some examples, some sentences, ok? So, how many, how many books do you read? Então, quantos livros você lê? How many books do you read? In this situation, yes, you can check that here we have how many, how many books. Ok? Então, quantos livros você lê? Books countable. Ok? Gente, é, eu vou aqui utilizar um pouco né, da, da, desse trecho. Né? É um trecho de uma música. Né, que particularmente ele traz, ele traz uma facilidade muito grande de conhecer algumas palavras em inglês. Okay? This song is called Nothing's Gonna Change My Love For You. Okay? Essa música ela, ela é do, da década de 1980 e ela traz, ela traz, alguns, ela traz um exemplo bem interessante. Okay? So, attention. If I have to live my life without you need me, the days would all be empty. The night has seemed so long, oh see forever all you used to clearly. I might have been loved before, it never felt this strong. The things are young and we both know They take us where we want to go Hold me now, touch me now I don't want to live without you Nothing's gonna change my love for you You ought to know by now how much I love you How much I love you 
Olha só, how much, né? Eu tenho aí uma, um quantificador, né? How much. Então, ah, mas aí eu, eu tenho um sujeito depois do how much. Detalhe, aí está um pouco mais implícito, né? Tanto é que aqui eu mostrei que essa frase está terminando o quê? O substantivo amor. Love. This is uncountable, right? Nothing's gonna change my love for you. You ought to know by now how much I love you. One thing you can be sure of. I never last for more than your love. Nothing's gonna change my love for you. You wanna know by now how much I love you. The one may change my whole life through, but nothing's gonna change my love for you. Thank you. <risos> Professor, isso tudo para mostrar o how much. Gente, eu gosto de utilizar um pouco de algumas músicas que elas trazem, como eu conversei a vocês, como eu falei para vocês, elas trazem uma facilidade de conhecer algumas palavras. Ok? Certo? Thank you. Thank you for attention and patience. <laughs> Great. So, now, the other example, you see few. There are few people on the streets. Ok. Countables and uncountables. What is these? What are these classifications? What are these kinds of words? Countables. Countables, two forms, ok? To form singular and plural, right? I will go back to this slide, sorry. I will go back to this slide, right? Countables, nouns that have two forms, singular and plural, such as class, classes, telephone, telephones, right? Baby, babies, chair, right? Chair, chairs, right? Chair, singular, chairs, Plural, ok? And uncountable, just one form. You can't count, ok? So, bread, bread. Sugar, sugar. Water, water. Ok? Just one. Just one form, ok? So, example, sugar. O açúcar. Eu conto o açúcar? Não conto. Então, açúcar. Sugar, ok? In Portuguese, right? You, you, use, ok? Great. Wow, thank you guys, thank you so much, right? More than 150 people here, great. Continue, okay, continue like this. Possibly I can show you another song, okay? Great. So, let's return, let's go back to the other slide. Is it clear, okay, about countable and uncountable? Countable, two forms, uncountable, one form. Great. Okay. This example shows us the few, yeah, right? This quantifier, few, example. Actually, nowadays, right, there are few people on the streets, right? Really? Yes, because of the pandemic. This pandemic makes us to stay home, right? Attention, right? Stay home, right? Don't go out, just if necessary. If necessary, okay, but attention. Here, they talk about the few quantity, right? About people on the streets. Então, tem poucas pessoas nas ruas. Ok? Actually, agora, atualmente, tem poucas pessoas nas ruas, nas ruas por causa né, do que a gente está vivendo hoje. Ok? Nowadays, another sentence. Nowadays, we have little respect to each other. Mm. Yeah, sometimes this has happened. That happens. Então, aí acontece muito isso. Nowadays, we have little respect to each other. Ok? A gente precisa ter um pouco de respeito pelo próximo. É importante, né? Nós temos um pouco de respeito pelo outro. É importante ter esse respeito pelo outro. Né? A gente precisa respeitar o outro né? e ter, e ter a, nossa, a, nossa, a nossa fé, o nosso conhecimento. Né? É muito bacana isso. O respeito traz alegria, traz felicidade, traz um, uma, um prazer pelo conhecimento absurdo. Ok? So, the pleasure for knowledge. Yes, happiness, right? When you're happy, of course, you have respect. You are tolerant. Ok? Great. So, little. Little after little is respect. So, it's uncountable. Ok? 
Uh, na frase passada, the last sentence, you see people. People after few. Few, right? Few, quantifier, because next, beep, next word, sorry, uh, is countable. And this sentence, little, okay, is a recording to, uh, sorry, uh, referred, yes, refers to respect, okay, the next, okay? Então, few e little é a respeito de poucos, né? No caso, poucos, poucas, pouco, pouco, okay? Just few quantity of things, right? Just a few, okay? Just a little quantity. So, few and little. Little, respect. Respect, uncountable. Few, people, countable. Right, next. Judah has a lot of friends around the world. Candies contain a lot of sugar. In addition to this quantifier, a lot of, a lot of, okay? These quantifiers, I told you about this quantifier, right? Do you remember? Here we have the two forms, okay, the two kinds. This quantifier may use, you may use, okay, independent on, independent on the kind of noun, countable or uncountable, okay? So friends, countable, sugar, uncountable. Então, independent disso, a lot of it pode ser utilizado tanto para Contável como incontável, ok? Attention, uh, in your book, ok? In, on the page 82, you can see this expression, a lot. A lot, as an answer. Então, em algo, no caso do texto da página 82, ele vai mostrar o a lot como resposta. Oh, a lot, right? A lot. Então, como resposta, ou apenas um ato também de poder de intensidade. She sleeps a lot. Então, ela dorme muito. Ok? Então, nesse caso, eu tenho uma outra situação. Esse a lot aí, ele já traz uma, uma situação diferente do, da, do caso do a lot of. Ok? They are different. Ok? Attention to these different senses. Ok? So, can, can this contain a lot of sugar? Right? Né? Eles contêm muito açúcar. José has a lot of friends around the world. Ok? Great. Moving on. Exercise 82. Ok? So, question 10. I will, guys, attention, I will use some questions, ok? Eu vou utilizar algumas questões aqui que a gente possa, que possam ser mais viável para vocês também. Tá certo? Dentro da, da nossa possibilidade de poder ver com vocês também, ok? So, we will use two questions, right? Read. Use how much, how many, a lot, little, and few to complete the fact sheet. Ok? Here, these, these are some questions, ok? Camels, frequently asked questions. Né? São questões relacionadas a esse tema. Camels, ok? Right? Good. So, Let's analyze. Humps does a camel have? Humps does a camel have? Okay, attention. Take a look of this first word. This, this is a noun, right? Humps. Is it singular or plural? Perfect. Yes, excellent. This is plural. So, which, which quantifier is used in a question to related to countable nouns. Então, qual vai ser esse quantificador? What is quantifier? How much? How many? How many? Right? Okay? So, how many? Okay? How many? Great. You can see here. How many? Okay? Next. Well, it depends on the type of camel. Dromedary camels have one hump, and Bactrian camels have two humps. Water can a camel drink? Water can a camel drink? Water. Is it countable or uncountable? Uncountable, for sure. So, for quantifiers in questions, okay, to use before an uncountable noun, you will use how much, 
Okay? So, how much water a camel drink? Né? Ele comenta sobre quanto, quanto que de água que o camelo ele bebe. Né? Ele falou só da diferença entre o dromedário tá certo? e né, o camelo sobre as corcovas. Né? Uma corcova, o dromedário, duas corcovas. Okay? Just that. So, how much water can a camel drink? Okay? How many, how much? Ok? Good? Next. Concluding. Oh. This is a sentence, right? Uh, but what kind of answer you can put as quantifier? Eu falei, né? Eu comentei. I told you about it. Eu comentei sobre esse tipo de quantificador que ele serve como resposta. A lot. A lot. Ok? A lot. A lot. There is very, attention, there is very water in the desert. When a camel finds water, it can drink. Let's imagine, let's think about uh, water in the desert. Is it enough? You can see much water. Can you see much water in the desert? Is it possible to see, wow, wow, great quantity of water in the desert? No, absolutely not. So, of course, here you will use a quantifier that is related to a minimum quantity. A minimum quantity of water. So, attention. Few or little. Water is uncountable. So, little. Okay? That's great. When a camel finds water and can drink, oh, and can drink what? And can drink a lot, okay? And can drink a lot. So, in this situation, in this sentence, when a camel finds water, it can drink a lot. Então, ele bebe muito quando ele acha, encontra água. Okay, great. The last ones, white Bactrian camels are there in the world. They talk about these camels, the kind of camels, Bactrian, okay? This kind of camels, Bactrian. So, here in this situation, we have wild Bactrian camels. In this situation, we have the noun camels, okay? Atenção. Aqui tem uma parte fundamental que a gente tem que prestar bastante atenção, por quê? Essas duas primeiras palavras, elas são as que caracterizam os camelos, certo? Elas não são substantivos, na verdade são adjetivos. Wild Bactrian, sorry. Ok? Então, são os camelos, né? É, esses camelos que a gente já conhece de duas corcovas. Uh, so, in this situation, the first noun is camels, ok? The camels, so plural, countable, uh, and the question, which quantifier you use in the question? Right? How much? Yes, and how many? But in this situation, there is, a, there is countable, a countable noun, so how many? So how many wild Bactrian camels are there in the world? How Many. Okay, great. Right. The last sentence, okay, the last sentence. There are very wild Bactrians camels. There are only about 1,000 in the wild. They are endangered. Endangered. What is that? Endangered. Remember, remember this word, endanger. We, we see, we've seen in the text about pandas. Remember, endanger. Okay, uh, that means there is a risk of extinction, right? There is a risk about pandas. They were endangered, okay? Então, aí ele comenta que esses camelos, eles estão, o okay, Ameaçados de extinção. Mm, just 1,000. Right? Just 1,000 in the wild, in the jungle. 
So, just few or little. Here, the same situation, ok? This is adjective, adjective, but noun. Lembrando que eu vou referir sempre à primeira, ao primeiro substantivo. Essas duas palavras que a gente tem aqui são adjetivos, como eu comentei a vocês. E aqui eu tenho um substantivo que está no plural. Countable noun, so there are very few. There are very few wild bacterian camels, ok? Because, unfortunately, they are endangered. Great? Ok? Next question. I choose, ok? I choose this question, ok? To see about the camel. This is the bacterian camel, ok? So, let's listen, ok? Let's listen to this part, ok? Learn new words. We will, of course, see the vocabulary, right? Listen and read to learn about camels, ok? Then listen and repeat. Hi. Ok, ok, no problem. So, I will pass, I will pass back, step back to the other question, ok? Ok, so, how many, how many humps does a camel have? Well, it depends on the, cam the type of camel. Dromedary camels have one, ta one hump and Bactrian camels have two humps. How much? Okay, how much water can a camel drink? A lot. There is very, there is very few water in the desert. There is very few water in the desert. Okay. Oh, sorry, little. Yes, I'm sorry. There is very little water in the desert. I can't little, né? Okay, because uh, here water is uncountable. Okay, que vai ser little porque a palavra a seguir é incontável. There is very little water in the desert. When a camel finds water, it can drink a lot. Okay? How many white Bactrian camels are there in the world? There are very few white Bactrian camels. There are only about 1,000 in the wild. They are endangered. Okay? Passing by the next page. Let's listen to, okay? Let's listen to the story about camels, the Bactrian camels, okay? Let's go. 23, unit 4, activity 3. Listen. I'm sorry, page 83 right now, okay? Now, that's page 83, okay? Great. Okay, now let's listen to. Read to learn about camels. Let's find some facts for this camel fact sheet. Okay, so we want to write about the Bactrian camel. How much does the Bactrian camel weigh? It weighs between 600 and 1,000 kilograms. That's quite heavy. And how big is it? It's about 3 meters long and 1.8 meters tall. So the same height as a tall man. And the tail is about 50 centimeters long. Okay. Oh look, here's an interesting fact. Camels can drink 135 liters of water in 13 minutes. Really? Yes. That's amazing! Wow! They talk about the, the, hand, the quantity of water. Fantastic! It can drink 135 liters in 13 minutes. Wow! Great amount of water. Okay? Great! Now, let's listen and repeat. Okay? Four. Unit 
litre. It can drink 135 litres of water in 13 minutes. Kilogram. It weighs between 600 and 1,000 kilograms. Meter. The Bactrian camel is about 3 meters long. The Bactrian camel is about 1.8 meters tall. Great. So, thus, you can see some information about measure units. Okay? Oh, okay, uh, guys, as I told you, I choose some questions, okay, some important questions, especially vocabulary, and to understand about the quantifiers, okay? Great. So, here we have some measure units, okay? Measure units. What is this? This is about the centimeters, yes? Okay, so let's repeat. Centimeters, liters, kilograms, okay? And meters. So, example, meet centimeters is about the length, right? This is about the tail, the tail of the camel, 50 centimeters long. And about the liter, this is about the volume, okay? The volume okay of water it can drink here we have the weight okay weight 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 espera no weight attention weight okay and here they talk about especially the height okay the height example my height is 1.73 Okay? Great? Good. Now, guys, uh, let's see our homework, okay? So, there's a homework for you, okay? The homework will be the grammar book. Can you just read the answers? Because they can just read the answers. Oh, okay. 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 Great. So, here, guys, uh, uh, this is not about the, the answers exactly, but just some other vocabulary, okay? Measure units. Né? Aqui são só algumas palavras, né? O vocabulário voltado a essa parte que ele comentou sobre os dados do camelo. Ok? Measure units. Né? São as unidades de medida. A gente tem as unidades de medidas aí que ele mostrou. Centimeters, liters, kilograms, meters. Right? Weight. Ok? In this case, this word means uh, peso. É voltado ao peso. Okay? É a medida de massa, unidade de massa. And height, here. So, example, I'm 1.73 meters. Okay, great, good. So, these are some just other words, okay? Other words to your vocabulary, okay? Guy, let's finish our lesson today, okay? See this homework. So, two homework for homework. Question 1, question 2, okay, much or many, okay, 24 and 25. You can do the first lines in each exercise, okay? Okay, great. So, example, this first question, complete the questions with much or many. Example, how much do camels eat, okay? You will complete with much or many. The first part, I will... I will show you just one, okay? Just one sentence as an example to do this homework, okay? At house, at your home, okay? So, how? Humps. Humps is plural. So, of course, here in this situation, the word will be many. So, how many humps has a Bactrian camel got? How many, okay? How many? Just an example, okay? This is just an example about question one, pages 20, in this case, page 24, okay? So, now, in the question two, you will circle the correct answer, okay? Check the example. 
there is much or a lot of sand in the desert. Okay? In this situation, you can use a lot of. Okay? Guys, uh, there's another uh, interesting situation here because you may use a lot of for countables and uncountable nouns. Okay? Great? Nice. Number one. About number one, okay, from the question two. See this example in the question two, okay? There are many or much conservation projects which help endangered animals. Many or much, okay? Oh, sorry, number one, yes, I read number two, I'm sorry. Here we have water, okay? The first sentence, there is little or few water in the desert. So, in the desert, there is little or few water, a countable noun, okay? As an uncountable noun, you use little, right? Little for uncountable. Então, depois da, do quantifier, eu tenho o uncountable, né? O nome contável, water. Então, eu vou utilizar. In this case, you use a little. There is little water in the desert. Okay? And the other ones, you can, you can circle, okay, the correct one, okay? According to, according to this, the context. Então, algumas frases, elas podem precisar muito que você tem que prestar atenção no sentido. Okay? You have to pay attention, must pay attention on the sense, on the context of the, of the sentence. Okay? Because sometimes you need to pay attention if it exists another word uh, as a noun, okay? Or adjective. Eu só posso analisar, utilizar o quantifier se eu perceber quem é o substantivo que vem depois, que forma que ele está. Certo? Se ele tem as duas formas, ele só tem uma forma. Se ele tem a forma singular ou plural, ok? Se ele tiver só uma forma, então nesse caso eu tenho os quantifiers voltados a, aos nomes incontáveis. Ok? Great? Next. So, on question 3, circle the correct answer. Here, you will circle, ok? You will circle this question, ok? Uh, according to the examples, the alternatives. Então, aqui a gente tem algumas frases e do lado dessas frases, você vai ter lá no seu livro algumas opções, certo? Você vai circular uma dessas opções em horizontal, tá? Atenção, não vá confundir e achar que as opções estão na vertical. Na verdade, elas estão na horizontal, ok? Example, of animals are born in captivity. So, few, a lot, or little, ok? Little, this is little. Ah, vocês estão vendo que aqui está um pouco, tá um pouco é, cortado, mas eu vou... Eu vou poder mostrar a vocês quais são as palavras, tá certo? Pelo menos do exemplo a seguir na número 1 um, e aí vocês em casa façam tranquilamente. Ok? Great? Thanks. So, here in the situation, you use a lot. So, a lot of animals are born in captivity. Ok? A lot of animals. Ok? Countable, you may use a lot of. Ok? Number 1. Question 3. The example number 1. Okay, the sentence number one, you can see that there are ta -da -da, of trees, okay, this is the blank, in the rainforest, okay? Uh, but, Mr. Lima, teacher, uh, rainforest separate? Sim, em alguns casos você pode ver rainforest separate or linked, né? Okay, vocês podem ver esse rainforest pode estar junto ou separado. Great. So there are of trees in the rainforest. Few, a little, or a lot of. Qual desses quantificadores eu vou poder permitir utilizar a preposition of? For sure. Definitely a lot. So there are a lot of trees in the rainforest. Okay? A lot of. In this case, just a lot. Okay? Next. Now, question four. You will complete this text with ma much, 
many, a lot, little or few. Okay? There is very little water in the desert. They use little because water is countable, uncountable. Okay? Okay. So attention here. Uh, these quantifiers they are different because much, many, great, right? So uh, in this case, much countable, much water, much traffic, many, many chairs, many people, many, many places. Okay, countable. Okay. Much or many, this is the sense, right? And much, countable, this is uncountable, for uncountable nouns, and this is for countable nouns. A lot, countable or uncountable, you may use to anything, okay? To any situation, okay? Countables or uncountables, no problem. A lot of sugar, a lot of children, a lot of kids, okay? In any situation. Uh, but the sense is that a lot, like much e many. Esses três primeiros têm esse sentido de quê? De muito, de uma quantidade grande de coisas, tá? Mas much é para incontável, many contável, much incontável e a lot tanto faz ser contável quanto incontável. Nesse caso, eu vou utilizar o a lot of. Okay? Se for somente a lot, e aí eu vou ter ele como resposta. Ah, how much drink? How much water do you drink? A lot. Okay? Perfect. That's very good. Very good. Excellent, guys. Little, few. Pouco. Aí eu estou relacionando algo que tem pouca quantidade. Então, what's the difference? Little. Okay? Little, uncountable. And few, countable. Okay? Great. There is very little water in the desert, but there is of water in the rainforest. Oops. Of. Okay? Of. So, in this situation, which quantifier you may use, okay, to complete of water? A lot. Right? So, in the, qu in the text, the question four, you use number one. A lot. Okay? There is a lot of water in the rain. Okay? Por que eu não posso utilizar os outros? Porque só ele, além da questão de ser no sentido de muito, só ele se encaixa por causa do próprio proposition of. Okay? So, let's see the last question, okay? About page 25. Okay? Great. So this last question, you will correct, okay, according to the, according to the sentences, guys. Thank you so much, okay, for the audience. Galera, muito obrigado, né? Tô vendo aí, almost 200. Perfect. Very good. Okay. Perfect. That. Let's finish, okay? We will finish with this question. Are these quantifiers correct? Take the correct sentences. We write the incorrect sentence. Então aqui ele vai mostrar, né? They show some sentences. And you read, and you need to, to correct any mistake. Okay? So, how much pandas live in the sanctuary? Oops, that's wrong. Because here, due to, okay, the use of much, it's, it's wrong, okay? Not correct. It's incorrect. So, how many pandas? Because pandas is a countable noun. Okay? So, let's see the number one, just an example. There aren't few rhinos left in the wild, okay? There aren't few rhinos left in the wild. So, you will correct if it's necessary or not, okay? Não há poucos rinocerontes deixados na selva. Rhinos, few, few countable, so... That's okay. That's correct. There aren't few rhinos left in the wild. Okay? Guys, thank you so much. Okay? Uh, uh, you will check, okay, on comments. It's very important to do this, okay, this homework. Okay? Eu quero que vocês realizem essa tarefa, principalmente porque a gente tem 
é, a gente vai poder analisar depois e revisar tá certo? nas próximas aulas. Ok? E caso vocês estejam, tenham alguma dúvida, ok? Any questions, you can, uh, you can take these questions to our class next, ok? Thank you.